this solution goes out to Eric Costello. Now, let me explain what he's struggling with. And maybe some of you guys have struggled with this as well. So I've got some sample data here of 500-ish customers, right? And they can, have, they can have heaps of different types of uh, information. But the problem is, what if you have more than two? If I wanted to represent just these two, I can just do a cross tab, one dimension against the other, almost like a scatter plot. And you can kind of see how many of each you have. And I'll show you that in the example. But what do you do if you have multiple ones? So I'm going to show you kind of how I would approach this problem and why certain other applications may not work. But again, this is just my approach on it. So let's put this into Tableau. Okay, which I've got here, and I've actually got the new edition. So this is 2020.2, I think, and they've changed their join thing, which is pretty cool. Um, but let's get into the data. So I've got the fields here. All right. Okay, so pretend I only have two fields. Okay, so I'm going to count the number of customers. So count, All right? So we have 536 customers, no problem at all. And let's say I wanted to see how many, have, how many have email, how many have Facebook, how many have both, how many have neither, right? It's as simple as just doing a cross tab like this, right? And you could do obviously your totals, right? You could do your um, cross tab like that and you're kind of good to go, right? The problem with it is how do you do three, right? Or four or five. So let me show you kind of how some people do it, which is if I've got landline, I would just put another one here. And let's say I've got uh, mobile and Twitter. And you can see it starts to get a bit messy, right? Once you start going beyond two. The other way is to put them all in one like this, right? Going like so, and then maybe make this a bar chart, like so, which I am not a fan of. Okay, so you can still see it like that, but it's not great. Um, so in terms of approaching what I would call this a multi-dimensional or multi-parameter kind of representation, I just don't think it's doable in a nice way. Because even here, if I switch this to percentage, right, percent of total, Oh, hang on, I did the wrong thing. Uh, I think it's here, maybe the label percent of total. It, it still doesn't give me a good visualization. So what I tend to do and what a lot of my customers prefer is have each of them as their own graphic working together as a dashboard. So let me show you how I put that together. So let's say I have a dashboard, all right? My idea is if I have five parameters, I'll have like five pie charts right and they're all interacting so if you go well i'm only interested in the ones with mobile so you click that and it does the rest right and i have a really cool way of putting it all together so i build the first one right so i'm going to count the number of customers like so so 536 and i'm going to split it with the first one so let's say email okay so i'm going to set this one up to be already formatted so that when we duplicate it we just have to replace a few things and it builds really really quickly okay i usually prescribe to leave the formatting at the end but this is kind of like a different approach so we're going to go pie chart right and you can see there's not really any labels which is annoying so we've got to put that in so first let's change that to email so you don't get confused we're going to duplicate this email and drop it into label. So now we have yes or no if it's available. Then we're going to duplicate the count onto the label so we can see how many, but I'm also going to add percentage. And the way I like to do it is once I put the first number in, I go in here, I go quick table, percent of total, and then I grab that count and drop it in again because you can't drop it twice. All right, let's make this a little bit bigger like so, and we'll go entire view. All right, maybe a bit too big. All right, go like this. I'm going to fix this percentage. I don't like it having that many decimal places. So I'm going to go in here, format and number. And let's go to, what is that number custom? And we're only going to, oh, sorry, no percentage with, let's say whole numbers like so. And I'll probably modify the font as well. So we'll go label, click on the three dots. We make this one a little bit larger. So let's say 11 bold. And I like to put the percentage actually at the end. All right, put it in brackets and make it red. And this is just to help help you see it a little bit better. So you can see there's a difference in all of them. Okay, and we go okay. So this is my first one fully formatted. We can probably do the colors as well, but we can leave that for now. Right. So that now I'm going to do for the next five. All I have to do is duplicate this 
five times, all right? Because it's already formatted. So I just go doop, 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 beru, shoop, beru, 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 if you know that song. Let's go Facebook for this one. Let's go landline for this one, mobile, and Twitter, all right? So now if we go to the Facebook one, I don't take this out because that's kind of one extra step. Instead, I can just grab Facebook and drop it right on top. So if you are slightly above or below, you'll see that orange kind of triangle. If you drop it right on top, you'll see that this little faint black line go around it. And then you can just drop it right on top. Now you're going to see four because you still got this email label here. So you grab this one again and you drop it on top of email. And that's it. All right. Do it for the landline. So you can see there's significantly less steps. Landline again, we'll go mobile, mobile, and lastly, Twitter. All right, so now we've got our five visualizations. We'll put that into a dashboard, and I just double click it, I fix it later. Like so, we'll get rid of this. We'll make this a little bit wider. Right. And the most I'd probably do is probably put a horizontal in here and just bring these top three, just so they can be evenly distributed and it looks nice and pretty. Oh, we've got those two. Double click on this handle so we can look at the whole container and we go distribute evenly. Okay, we'll probably make these go in the middle. And these are just like little things just to make it easier to read. Obviously up to you how you format. Okay. So I would do it like that, and then I would just turn on the filters for each, like so. All right, so this is probably like intermediate expert level, um, and in terms of, I'm going relatively fast just because like this isn't really for beginners, right? And then the questioning would be, I mean, you're in a, I always like to think of things in like a, a boardroom setting because um, that's kind of the world I come from. So they would be going, listen, we're about to do some sort of marketing exercise. We need to know how many have email, um, Twitter, and Facebook. So then you would go yes, yes, and yes. So those are the ones that you would be interested in. So you can see all the numbers are now the same, 65, 65, 65. So these are the ones with all three. Or you can say, we just want ones with email and Facebook, and you go like this. And the really good thing about this is that even for the really non-techy people, the non-programmers, senior management, who probably aren't too good with computers, obviously not like analyst level or anything like that, they can actually navigate this really easily. And I know that from um, my actual experience because when I give them this and I just explain just click what you want they love it it's because it's just there's very little that they have to bother with um, you can probably even put these all in a line which probably looks better right so if I go like this make it longer like so and they can just go one by one what they're interested in take the data out that they want and then that's it obviously the drawback with this is you can't get a high level view of all the overlaps right at an instant you would have to go well how many of this and you'd have to go through the steps right so pros and cons as with anything but that's how i would approach this problem uh, eric okay so let me know what you guys think if you have any other questions you videos you want me to do on the problems you guys deal with please feel free to send me an email or a comment and i'll see you guys soon